Hey everybody, Phantom Shadow here, and welcome back to more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. We're about to join the Chocobo races. So, you ready or what? Yep. About time. Let's get this show on the road. Come with me. Actually, on second thought, I'll take him up top. That work for you? Say what? <laughs> Fine. You want to go roll in the hay with this idiot? Go wild. And on that note, follow me. It's hard to believe this is the same Pico that nearly died in the desert. You should have seen him that first day, the poor boy. More dirt than Chocobo. Couldn't so much as give us a quail without coughing up sand. He's a whole new bird now, though. Might even have what it takes to win. Question is, do you? Even the fastest Chocobo can't win Jack without the right jockey. I've seen my fair share of promising birds wasted on riders who didn't know their asses from a hole in the ground. Believe me. In the racing world, it's all about who's holding the ring. Okay, on you go. Competing in the race today? Yep. We'll get your bird prepped for you. Just sit tight in the jockey lounge. And no wandering off, okay? different types of outfits, I wonder. A bug boy? Hmm? <laughs> hey there, Joe. Why, Esther, you grow lovelier by the day. <laughs> uh-huh, sure I do. Where are my manners? This here's Joe. He's one of Sam's jockeys. <laughs> and as much as it pains me to admit it, the man's far and away the best rider in the sport. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. This is Cloud, an up-and-coming star of the track. And all ours. Be sure to wave hi when he laps you. Well, sounds like you got a fan, son. I wonder, though. You win her over with your skills, or with one of them smoldering looks? <laughs> Don't see why it can't be both. About time I had some competition, assuming Esther's not full of it. For both our sakes, I hope she isn't. <sighs> Forget him. The race is starting soon, so stay focused. Speaking of, you might want to consider practicing. The Sim here can help with that. If you want to brush up on your jockey skills, you, you can practice on the racing simulator, even if you've never raced a day in your life. Steer, speed up, slow down, back up, drift. Okay. more of these the more of these balloons you collect the faster your chocobo will run collecting these balloons will f fill your chocobo's ability gauge collecting these yellow balloons will add a charge to your dash gauge
Now that you've completed the tutorial and learned the ropes, you can now trace race in the Chocobo Cup. Good luck. Or we could team up, take Joe down a peg. Hey, I'm trying to manifest a win here. Work! Quick, quick! Your first race ever, and it's with Joe? You better do right by me and Pico and not lose today, you hear? Especially not to one of Sam's birds. Kinda nervous about this. Hyperion is Joe's bird, and it's a fast and rugged son of a bitch. Thanks for Red to win. Our next race will begin shortly. All participating jockeys, please proceed to the paddock. You good to go? Okay. Each bird is unique, but they all possess following attributes. Speed, acceleration, weight, cornering, strength, intelligence. For a more in-depth breakdown, speed and acceleration will make your... Obviously make your chocobos run faster. More weight will make them fly shorter, but also be harder to knock around. Randomly replace your current ability with a different one you possess. Increase the speed for a few seconds after being passed. Dramatically increase all attributes if placed seventh or lower heading into the final lap. This this one seems balanced. survived that recent shooting. <sighs> You're not talking about the Colosseum, are you? Yes, I was there. Or I would have been had I not gone to the bathroom just before. That's amazing. <gasps> You're so lucky. Aren't I just? Which is why I know my bird's a winner. <laughs> Ooh, what a scrumptious looking parfait. And with plenty of butterscotch, I see. Bottoms up. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Got eyes on him? Oh, I'm fine, thanks. Do you know how hot it is out here? I'm melting. God, what asshole decided our uniforms had to be black? I'll be there as soon as I can. You freaking better. And bring something cold to drink. Or better yet, ice cream! Is vanilla No, okay? vanilla. Seriously, I'm getting heat stroke over here. I'm gonna die. <laughs> you want that? Do ya? Good luck, Elena. Wish you were here, partner.
Got it. just provided the encouragement. And thanks to you, my prison's gonna be a goddamn palace. Good for you. Ooh, so frosty. But here in the desert, we like it hot, fiery, dangerous. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet. Now where's our guy? <laughs> Easy, Snowflake. Solemn Gus is a man of his word. Are you scared I'll break my promise? That tunnel over there will take you where you need to go. Past all that quicksand like a slippery little sidewinder. And at the other end, one of my beautiful vultures will be waiting to guide you through the desert. So be a good tourist. We got old Shooty McShooterson tied up nice and tight in a shack out in the scrapyard. But now he's all yours. Turn him over. Give him his just desserts. It's your call to make. All right. Seems like that's all we can do here. Hey, shouldn't you be somewhere doing something? Don't suppose you're in the market for a charming young racing consultant. You guys moving on then? And what are you going to do? Since you put Pico's name on the map, we'll stick around for a bit. Try and get a winning streak going. Besides, we still got a score to settle. Sure you'll be okay on your own? No man with a bird is ever truly alone. Hey, Cloud, I know you need to hit the road, but if you're ever itching to get back in the saddle, come around. Pico will be here. You know he'd love a victory lap. All right. There's no way Barrett shot those people, right? Are there any other gun-armed dudes who might have gone on a killing spree? We know him. He'd never do that. Well, we'll find out soon enough.
on sand for weeks. Thank God we found you. We were worried. You on the lamp, big guy? The hell I am! Ugh. What are you guys doing all the way out here anyway? Looking for whoever decided to shoot up the Coliseum lobby. They said the culprit had a gun for an arm. They did, huh? Tell me it wasn't you. Frankly, it might as well have been. Barrett, talk to us. <sighs> I know the man who murdered all those people. Dine, my best friend. It was four years ago. The Corral Reactor had just gone up. Dine and I had been to check it out, see what the deal was. But on our way back... None of this makes any sense. That explosion could have brought down the whole mountain. So where the hell's Shinra? That's a damn good question. <sighs> Whatever. We need to get back. Tell them what we found. God. No. Shinra, they just showed up and started shooting. I think they're trying to cover up what happened at the reactor. To pin the blame on... Whoa. Hey! Please. This ain't happening. God damn it. The village. Marlene and Eleanor might still be there. You ready? Fool. <laughs> still so quick to throw in the towel, ain't you? Come on. reputation for safety to uphold which makes you liabilities
so Marlene's. I managed to get away, but I was bleeding out. Figured that was it. Until Doc Sheeran came along and saved me. Put me back together. Most of me, anyway. There was no saving my arm, so I made a call. Instead of the normal prosthetic, I chose a means to an end. Gus Stein had the same idea. I guess he did. I'd resigned myself to the fact that he was dead, but if I'd known he'd survive too, I... So that's why Dine shot all those people? To get back to Shinra? I don't know. I saw him at the saucer, saw the bodies and the bullet holes. But that's not who Dine is. Whatever his faults, he's not a monster. If I can find him, talk to him. I know we can figure this out. Well, okay. What are we waiting for? No time like the present. Vulcan Cannon. A gun arm that fires faster and has it as its three barrels begin to rotate. Charging uppercut.
Done. That's you? Hey. I know you. Dying. Hang on. I'll get you out of here. <laughs> As I live and breathe, Barrett Wallace. Come on. Bless your heart, dropping by for Eleanor's birthday. What? Elle, Marlene, set a place for Barrett. <laughs> yeah, he's looking fit as a fiddle. Oh, good question. She ain't with him. Where's Myrna? She ought to be here. Come to think of it, I don't see a gift, neither. But you ain't the kind to come empty-handed. God damn it. his kind doing here you son of a bitch still living on Shinra's kill no man it ain't uh, like that uh, stop go on then do it Please, I'm here to help you. <laughs> you? Here to help me? <laughs> He's here for you. To take the load off your shoulders, right? Same old shit. Unarmed assailant responsible for the bloodshed and the golden saucer. After losing everything he held dear, he took up the mantle of a cold-blooded executioner. Driven by an insatiable need for vengeance, he has turned his ire on the man he once called his closest friend. Weak to fire. I thought you were here to help me! Shit! Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> the best of friends together again! <laughs> Ain't it beautiful? Remember when we had that rat problem? You and me set traps, and you got caught one. I guess old habits die hard. <laughs> I want to see you play up. Please.
Gotcha. Get on with it. No, Dan. It's over. Over? You think this is over? This ain't even close to over! Then end it. Kill me. I can't live like this anymore. Barrett! Stay away! <laughs> You'd like that, wouldn't you? A way out. But where's that leave me, huh? <laughs> I thought you wanted to help your own buddy! No wise words. Coward. When the going gets tough, he's gone. Yeah, you're right. About everything. I should have never believed him. But that money... Change our lives. Well, it changed them all right. You know, I can hear her now. Eleanor, as clear as day. Begging me to stop, give you the benefit of the doubt. Saying you ain't done nothing wrong. But then who's gonna answer for what happened? Oh, I know! Shinra! Always Shinra! His eyes. Hair, too. After everything went down, I didn't know what to do. Myrna was dead. And I figured you were, too. All I had was guilt and regret, and the weight of it was too much. But Marlene gave me the strength to carry on. She nearly died that day. House was about to come down when I heard her crying. And ever since, she's been my reason to get up in the morning. You took my baby girl from me. You knew she meant the world to me. You knew, and still you took her. That's not true. You took everything from me. Everything and everyone. Dad, we can go see Marlene right now. <sighs> oh, 
Look at me, Barrett. You think I want Marlene to see what her father's become? Stop! With all this goddamn blood on my hands, how could I ever hold my daughter again? With that, I'll end this here for now. So uh, thanks for watching, and see you guys next time with more Rebirth. Bye.